the story of the fight here between both ladies, both classed as submissions in terms of style by Alicia Pichotta, as we've said, a little bit more of a striker. She's certainly the younger fighter, 13 years younger than the Greek. The weight, perfectly the same reach in favour of the Italian. Welcome once again, everybody, to Addis 24, right here at the studio in Paris. We are set to begin the prelims with three five-minute rounds of a catch weight, 59 kilograms. First, we introduce the blue corner, standing 173 centimeters tall and weighing officially at 58.9 kilograms. As a professional, undefeated with two victories, fighting out of Greece, introducing Eleni Moisido. And we welcome her opponent in the red corner, standing 176 centimeters tall and weighing officially at 58.9 kilograms. As a professional, two career victories against two losses. Fighting out of Italy, introducing Alice Pichotta. When the action begins, your referee in charge, Mohamed El Fadili. For any of you who are new to the studio format, to the Apex format as it is known in the UFC, much more of a raw affair. You hear everything, you hear the commands, and it makes for some fantastic viewing. Off we go, Aris 24 starts now. Both girls, very tall for this weight, you know, 59 kilograms, are very tall, very rangy. We'll see you do taking, pushing, he shot her back towards the cage. That's where she wants this fight. He shot her needs to get, you know, use her footwork and get off the cage here. Because any second now, Mercedes is going to jump in for the. Uh, Tentative jab there offered by the Greek. He spoke about Pichotta's fight against Alexandra Tekena. She actually started the fight very well before Tekena got into a groove. And we saw there with that first kick to the thigh of the Greek that she does have power, the Italian. Yes, nice little Superman punch there. Needs more of that, but she started off with a good low kick. And that could be, um, could be key in this fight, actually, that low kick. Nice, no, see that again? No, no, she didn't defend that at all, did um, she do? Ooh, high kick of herself. There's a good counter punch there with the right hand from Pichotta, but Moisidu happy to be dominating the space at the start of this first one. Yes, I'm, I'm very surprised that um, she took the centre like this. It's, uh, she's the one that looks like more of a striker. But, um, but, you know, it's still early on. Both girls sort of feeling each other out. Just getting their, getting their range. This is what makes the studio format so great. You can hear all the instructions from the corners. Of course, if you speak Greek and Italian, you're loving it. <laughs> so I'll tell you what, Jai. First two minutes in, Pichotta looks like she's having a much more mature performance. Yeah. She's not as rushed as she was against Tekken, and that's when she was counter-punched. I think she's grown from that fight, and you can see that a little bit. Yeah, definitely. She looks a lot more relaxing in, in there now. Um, yeah, lovely jab. She needs to get that jab going. She's got a great jab when she gets it going. Um, she varies it from the head to the body. That's it. I think that, that's gonna, you know, that and her low kick will be the keys to this victory in this, this fight. She went for it then, but she needs to put punches behind that kick. It was too, um, too visual. Surprised there's, there's been no um, takedown attempt by by Elena Masidu. Feels a little bit like an observation round. Yeah. This first here between Masidu and Shota. Nice. Yeah, she does like, a lot more relaxed than she did the last time out. Uh, shot his corner there, asking for a little bit more of a press. Oh, oh, there's that low kick. A little bit of bruising appearing already on the outside. You see that already. His left leg. Yeah. She's standing very narrow, you see, um, you see do. So that low kick from Pichotta will be there all day long. 
Going for the Superman there, but he wasn't on. I'd love to see it just go back to that low man. Oh, lovely entry there. Lovely. Lovely reactive double leg there. So straight underneath um, shot, uh, shot as hook. Now she's in side control, but she loves to work from side control. Look for her to go to try and work towards the crucifix. And she's took the mount, even better. She's fully mounted here, the Greek. First attempt at a takedown, and there's a minute and five seconds remaining in this first round. Pichotta trying to buck her opponent off there. Yeah. She's a little too high, perhaps, the Greek. No, Pichotta needs to look to get hands on hips here and look to um, bridge. Get back to half guard. Or look to um, look for a keep escape. <laughs> Lovely. But, uh, Mercedes is doing well there to control and not, not get um, bumped off. She's staying staying heavy on her opponent. She's waiting for the, the right time to let some ground and pound go. Because that when when she when she pushes up now to throw some ground and pound, that is an um, opportunity for Pashota to escape. <laughs> Well, she's only got 20 seconds left, so the best thing to do is just, you know, rack up the points now, just, just let, some, let some shots go there, but stay in control. She's not really had any sort of striking going at all. Well, you see, dude, despite being in that dominating position, Pichot has defended this relatively well, and we are going to go to round two. It really is a classical observation round between yeah. both ladies. Pichotta has a little bit of a, of a jog back to her corner. But I said that it was more mature, perhaps almost too guarded yeah. that first round from uh, the Italian. Yeah, definitely. You know, she was having success with that with that low kick. And he, as you said, the, um, Mercedes is, was, uh, is, you know, starting to red up her leggies. So a, whole, a, a corner's probably gone in there until her now um, to, you know, to get that going. But it'd be interesting to see you know, Eleni has been out, Eleni Messina has been out for two years, so it'll be interesting to see, over two years actually, how she deals with, you know, the second, third round. Born in 1986, the Greek fighter, 37 years old, Pichot is 13 years younger. It's a lot in the world of MMA, 13 years. And you just wonder at some point if the fight does go into the latter stages, if energy comes into it, particularly for a fighter who's been out of action for so long. Yeah. Yeah. In 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 activity, you know, it's not great. We need to be we need to be fighting all the time, you know, to stay stay fight ready, have that sharpness in there. Well, she's looking alright to start this round. She's took the scent, you know. She's taking the initiative and she's pushing uh, Pichotta back. Yeah, 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 it's all right. That's where Pichotta can exploit things with a little bit more of the combination. She has got speed in those hands, but we haven't seen enough of it. No. She needs, that's it now. She's, 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 you know, she's advancing now. She's taking the centre. She needs to hold that centre now. But she, she doesn't want to overextend with her punches, because as we saw in the end of the last round, Macedo ducked under and got the double leg. And then Pichotta was stuck on her back for the rest of the round. Lovely low kick there. Just like it to follow through on that low kick, but perhaps something up top. Yeah, hook or something. Yeah, be, yeah, definitely. Or even double the kick up, you know? She's not blocking it, she's not checking it. Double it up. And then start mixing up, taking it high, you know? Lovely. She does look like she's trying to cut those corners, cut the angles. Be shot at. Again, fires with the right, nothing connects. She comes forward. She got caught there with a the counter punch. Good work by Eleni Moisidu. And again, good hook. And then the kick to follow. Those are the combinations you expect from the Italian, but they're not coming at the moment. It's the Greek advancing. Yep. Nice faint there by the machine, lovely. She's showing some great striking this, this bat, you know. Like, I've watched, when I've been researching and watching her, she's just an out and out grappler, but she's, you can tell that she's been working on the striking a lot. She's doing really well with it. Lovely, good kick. That's the one thing that's really been working. 
for Pichotta and you would expect Moisidu to perhaps come up with something in response to that. Counter, yep. Counter straight right and down the middle off that low kick. But really she needs to start blocking it, checking it, because those are going to start adding up in them soon. I love to see Pichotta maybe start taking it down to the calf, you know. Um, and attacking that as well because there's been no defence of the low kick at all. That's the call from our coach. Has continued. Don't just stop there. Saying it, die for it. Come on, keep going. But in a that shot, shot has corner. They are really pushing her to, to, to up the tempo here. There is an element, perhaps, of fear of being caught the way she was against Tekken. Now, we don't know, we're not in Pichotta's head, but she has to let fly a little bit more. Moisidu's backing off a bit more now. Yeah. That's because, as you say, Pichotta's been more aggressive, so it's, um, it's making Moisidu second guess herself now, pushing her back. <laughs> Look to see her get back on that jab. Know that all, everything else will flow behind that. <laughs> Oh, good try, good, de good defense there using the underhook. Lovely. Right in front of us, the action here. Only 50 seconds remaining. And then you see is such an accomplished grappler, and she does get the Italian down again. Second takedown attempt, 100% success rate at the moment for Moisidu. Yep. Just at the end of the round, you know, putting a putting a exclamation mark on the on the end of the round, you know. Absolutely guarded though, Pichotta this time around. Mm. Well, she's letting it, letting some ground up and go, so she's got the takedown. She's had what, 40 seconds to work. In the, in the eyes of the judges. Pichotta's corner, calling for elbows. Yeah. Can't just accept this position. <laughs> Those are good strikes to the rib there. Yeah. And it's going to be the end of a round two. Still as undecided as ever between both ladies. Yep. Yeah. Shot up from my perspective, grew perhaps a little bit in the second round. But yeah. She's still as if she's stuck in second gear. Yeah, definitely. There was she had moments in that in, in that round. I think when you I said the corner was sending to go, go, go. She, she had moments, but they were just coming in bursts. She needs to, you know, take the ball by the horns now and push her opponent back. Because when she does have those moments, she's having success and mercedes has got no answer to it. But that being said, Mercedes, you know, she's looking in great condition and she's, she's smart in fights. She's waiting to the last minute of the round, getting a takedown, causing damage on the ground. And to me, that's winning the round. Marking one for the judges as well, maybe. Exactly. Some of the highlights of that first round. Pichotta finding a little bit of joy when she was able to, you know, put some combinations together up top. Moisidu with that takedown. You can see the strikes landed there. A little bit more for the Greek, but Pichotta certainly with the harder strikes. It's round three, last rounds of this opening fight between Alicia Pichotta and Eleni Moisidu. Yeah, this could be anybody's, you know. Still quite close. Oh, kick. Lovely. And again. Shot her this time. Not stepping back. <coughs> kick, good kick back. That was where Miss uh, Mercedes. I've been impressed by how bouncy Moisid has been. She's been really mobile on those legs. Yeah, definitely. Shot up. I'm not sure if she's seen Moisidu's leg, but she can, if she can keep attacking it, she'll exploit it. There might be a takedown here. Yeah. There is. Lovely. Very. She gets the hands locked and she um, 
drives, uh, drives Alice to the ground there. The body lock takedown. The difference this time is there's four minutes for her to work. And for her to move to side control now, where it's a favourable position, and she likes to get that crucifix as well. But uh, Pichotta, you know, she needs to start looking to get frames on her opponent. Get her frames in, get the knee shield in, look to get space to get back to her feet or attack submissions. She, at the minute, she's just holding, holding onto her opponent. She needs to, um, you know, get those, get her knees, her knees back into place, get her frames in. Now, Mishido just mo moves, um, she moves to side control now. Look for her to attack Pichotta's left arm. Pichotta's left arm looks to be in a little bit of a vulnerable position as well. He's got the cross face now. <laughs> Clever little strike with the knee there from Moisidu. Moisidu, yeah, she, you know, she does like a side control. I've, not, I've noticed when I've you know, done my research, but in MMA, I feel it's better to work in the half guard because you've got more control. You've got like cross-body control of your opponent and you can let shots go better off there. Whereas if you do that in side control, you give a lot of space for your opponent to get back to the feet or get back uh, close guard. Oh, good bump. Nearly, nearly got the reversal then. She gave that position up then. She had a really good control of position. Forza, forza. Shot to here has to work. She's been two minutes on her back now. She's trying to scramble away. Moisidu will take advantage of any mistake at this late stage of the fight. I mean, the shot I really needs to try and get back to her feet now because she's losing this fight at the moment. There you go, she's got, she's got the um, knee shield in there. She's went back to full guard now. Nice. Minute 30. Needs to get her elbows inside, work those frames, or work, look for a submission. Nice, look for the sweep there. An exclusively grappling bounce with MMA Challenge Pro. Eleni Moisidu was able to get submissions in three fights in a row. This is where she is most comfortable. Pichotta not making it easy for her. It's not, but Moisidu has got it. You know, she's got a head close to her chest. So he's not giving, she's, she's pinning her, she's not at the moment, but she's pinning um, Pichotta's shoulders on the mat, which is stopping her getting back to her feet. Now, I don't know what this position is for, but this isn't going to help her escape. It's a good elbow there from Pichotta, but haven't seen much about them with 40 seconds left. You feel that now, she really needs to try and get a finish. Needs to look, maybe look to get that wrist control there and look, throw up a triangle or something. <laughs> <laughs> 20 seconds left, she needs to, you know, really needs to get going if she wants to get this victory. She's looking at another defeat now. Spoke about hard hitting and experience in another fight. Experience looks to have prevailed in this one. Shot eventually stands up, four seconds, she's got one strike in her perhaps. No. First fight will go to the judges' scorecards. But for someone who hasn't fought for two years, I think that's a performance which Eleni Moisida can be incredibly proud of. Yeah, brilliant. O over two years out of the ring, you know. She was in great, great condition as well. Well done to her. Jai, we await the judges' scorecards, but seeing as how it's gone now, I can put you in that position early on tonight in our commentary. You know, which way do you feel this fight went then? I feel, I feel Masidu definitely, definitely won the fight. I think it could have been, she, she might have won all the rounds. I mean, she should have had a moment, you know, especially the second, in the second round she had a moment, but those takedowns at the end and that ground and pound on each, each, 
all three rounds, you know, they just put a stamp on the on the on the fight. So I'll definitely say she's won. Certainly smiling the way with the confidence of someone who has won the fight. Yeah. You can hear the frustration in the voices of Bichotta's coaches, particularly in the second round, who are saying, don't stop, keep going. You know, you can't just stand back. And that may have cost her that lack of attacking intent at times. Might have cost Alicia Bichotta dearly. She came out blazing against Alexandra Tekina. This time around, it was a little bit of a reverse performance from yeah. her. Two judges scored a decision with our judges scoring about 29 28, 29 28, 30 27. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner, Eleni Moisido.